A quiet street in Devizes. Too quiet. Children should be playing here. The hum of mowers, the buzz of family life, silent and forgotten. And not just on this road. There are 1,300 empty houses in Wiltshire alone, 9,000 in the UK. Wiltshire Council says it would love to buy them. I don't have a housing crisis in Wiltshire, but I've definitely got a shortage. I'm having to build on greenfields all over the county to meet government housing targets. Yet there are houses here sitting empty that, as far as those housing targets are go, simply don't exist because they're MOD housing. And they're crumbling. Storm damage lies unrepaired. The post stacks up. The gardens unkempt and unloved. The MOD rents them from a private company to the tune of half a million a year, and that's just in Wiltshire. I don't think they actually know what to do with them. And it makes me feel as if they've just deserted the place. And I mean, we live across from it, and I mean, it used to be lovely here. There was kids running about, and families and whatnot. And now it's just left to rot. Rotting to the sense of community. There isn't a community. There isn't a community. All the houses are empty. To look out onto something that is so unkempt and derelict, really, is not very nice. Devalues our properties as well. But it's not just about providing housing for local people. Wiltshire Council approached the MOD and asked them if they could use these houses for Afghan refugees and, more recently, for Ukrainian refugees. The answer to both requests was no. We've approached, um, certainly uh, initially, with the Afghan refugees. I thought it was particularly appropriate um, where the Afghan refugees were coming over here because their lives w w were literally at risk because they'd been helping our troops. Um, and again, they were looking at short-term lets, uh, but I'm afraid the MOD weren't willing to help there. The Ministry of Defence told GB News... We manage around 17,000 service family moves every year and therefore need to retain vacant homes across the UK. We are actively working to reduce the number of surplus properties and by autumn 2023 aim to have just 10% of homes empty to facilitate essential maintenance. But with the cost of living crisis in full swing and a housing shortage on its way, many are arguing 10% is still way too high. Jeff Moody, GB News.